Would you take 10 for it? Uh, no, probably not. Okay. I'll put it down in my basement for 10. Okay. What do you need for it? Um. Good morning. Good morning. Can I start making a pile somewhere? You right, bet. right here? Okay, thank right you. There. Right by the pre dehumidifier. Alrighty. There's anything and everything. I buy all kinds of stuff. Okay, good. We like that. Yeah. How much is the uh, stereo equipment? You know, make me an offer on that. I don't need all of it, but I'd be interested in the receiver. Would you? Yeah, I'll pull it out and get a closer look at yeah. it. Would you take 10 for it? Uh, no, probably not. I'll okay. Put it down in my basement for 10. Okay. What do you need for it? Um, probably 20. 20. I think I'll pass on it. Okay. If you think about it, come back. It'll probably still be here. Alrighty. Take care. Oh, here. oh I've, yeah, I'm still, I've got a pile I'm adding to okay. here. Mm -hmm. Once you get it set up, okay. 
Can you work with me on price at all if I'm getting a lot of stuff? Yeah. Okay, I'll keep adding to the pile. Yeah. Now that's a pretty nice gem. Yeah, that's really neat. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think I'm all done. Okay. So let's see here. What? Three. This is pretty cool. Have you ever seen these? I've never seen that before. I thought it's it was really, cool. Oh, and uh, I had it. It's really cool because it's like uh, you can make all the sounds with the remote. I just had it out at Christmas time. I didn't use it, but I had it out. I have a Christmas train that goes with it. Oh, I'm okay. Asking a lot for it because I paid a lot for it. Sure. Um, it's right there if you want to take a look at it. Okay. And get it out. But anyway, I think that's really fun uh, for kids because they can make the conductor say "All aboard." Oh yeah. That's a couple bucks. So that I'll throw in. Okay, so we're at twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. <coughs> what do we have on these clippers, man? I don't remember. Uh, 25, but how about three bucks on those? Okay. We've got 28. We've got three. 28. And three is one. One. Six. 40. You know what this is? I don't. What is that? It's a cherry pitter. Oh. So the cherry, you put them in here. That thing goes up, down, and how does that work? <laughs> Let's go the other way. You put the cherry in there, and it goes the other way. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. I just thought it looked neat, so I picked yeah. it up. Four bucks. So we're at 34? 44? 34. 34. I think you were at 40. I think I was. Yeah, oh, I think you, you were. Know you're right. Okay, so 20. 20. I'm a good salesman, aren't I? <laughs> I don't want you to cheat yourself. And three dollars for that, so let's make it forty-one. Forty-one. All right. I appreciate you working with me. Thank you. Oh sure. You want me to help you carry it? Uh, sure. Yeah, my van's just right over there. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, guys, that was my first garage sale of the year, and it did not disappoint. They had a ton of stuff. I wound up making like four or five laps around just because I felt like I was going to be missing stuff, and I did miss a few things the first time that I got the second time around. I was trying to check comps on my phone, and I don't know if there was like bad service or what, but like it wasn't pulling up for me, so I had to reset my phone at some point and like restart it, and then the app was working, and I started finding comps on things that I wanted. I looked at that Techniques amplifier. Um, I could only find one sold comp of like $60 free shipping so it's probably worth like 30 or 40 I would have been fine paying 10 maybe 15 but 20 was a little too steep those are a lot of work to test and ship and everything else so I passed on that but I got a lot of other really good stuff and she made me a deal on it too I paid $41 for everything so first thing that caught my eye there were these shoes we've got some North Face boots for five dollars I've sold North Face jackets and you know different clothing before I've never sold their boots but I figure for five bucks it's kind of hard to go wrong and next to them were these pair right here um, let's see what's the brand Vasque never heard of that it's, it has Gore-Tex um, which I know is a good material for shoes these are a little rough but they might clean up pretty well I could just tell they were pretty nice when I picked them up. Like they just felt like a good pair of shoes. And then also these right here, I think these are pronounced Prope. They were really clean and I did see some comps on these for around 25 to 30. Got this cool old metal thermometer sign. Uh, the glass piece and mercury and everything for the, the thermometer is gone, but it's still, a, a, you know, just a neat wall hanger. It's got a farm and a rainbow with a pot of gold at the end. So for three bucks, that was hard to pass up. I got some software. I think she kind of just threw this in on the deal. 2008 Office Mac and then Mac OS X Snow Leopard. I've done okay with these over the years. I'll have to make sure that the, you know, the codes are still good. 
I got a sealed puzzle. These were selling really good last year when everybody was stuck at home and couldn't go anywhere. I think they've kind of died off. Whoop, I think they've kind of died off a little bit, but at a buck fifty, I think there's some money to be made. This, I didn't even know what it was. I just thought it looked cool. It obviously was old, so I picked it up and she told me that it is a cherry pitter, which I thought was pretty neat. So that might go on eBay, it might go in my antique booth, I don't know, but cool piece. This right here, when I first saw it, and I saw that it was, you know, making train noises, I thought that it might be worth some money, and I was trying to look it up. My phone was giving me fits, because she had a price of 20 bucks, so didn't want to take a chance on it if it wasn't worth some money, but I did finally get my phone working and used, this thing sells for like 60 bucks, so I was all over that. And last thing I got is this baby scale. Uh, it was only four bucks. It is from American Family. It's a nursery scale. I've got a little bear and an elephant on there. I've sold these in my antique booth before, and I usually get $20, $25 for them, something like that. Overall, I am thrilled to have this much stuff for my first garage sale of the year, and now that the weather is warming up a little bit, there's going to be a lot more garage sales to go to. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.